Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we are here with another formation video. Uh, some of you have been asking about this formation. I've been trying a lot of different stuff with this formation. Finally, uh, concluded to something. Uh, so pay attention. A lot to talk about. And this is the five two one two formation. Um, and if you see my team right now here. I have four perfect defenders uh, apart from my left wing back position which is Ferran Torres. Now the way this formation works is think of it in in a kind of a, uh, you know a diagonal way right so your your attacking would be in kind of uh, north left and you know it from south right to north left that that's how the attacking would work I, i'll explain you in a moment what it means but the major focus for us would be just to, to play short passing games and provide um unexpected width in the attack but when it comes to defense it'll always be four at the back with one joining at the back uh which will be the player as a left wing back now you could do that with the right wing back as well but i am a righty and i find this to be a lot more suitable for me uh, apart from that we have two central defensive midfielders uh, and three perfect attackers all of them would are basically very good dribblers um, got to make sure of that because you'd want to pass a lot uh, and you want to take quick turns so that is what it is now let's go to the tactics so the tactics are similar to what we had in the 4-2-2-2. Uh, the reason being uh, we want fast build up with possession because it kind of crowds the midfield and uh, moves everyone backward pretty fast. And in the attacking front, it does not like take runs here and there a lot of a lot of times. Instead, the players kind of you know stay close to each other, uh, so the possession passing uh, works well. Now the width for defense as well as um, attack is the lowest. Uh, the reason for this is that when it's the defense, it's more like you already have four at the back. You'd all you'll get one another player left wing back would be going forward. He'll be coming back to join the defense. You'd already be having your uh, defense uh, in terms of midfield. Those players would also be some of them will be staying back. Some of them would be joining back. Uh, in the defense so you'd be sufficient there and you'd not need to increase the width if you increase the width what would happen is that before between your left wing back and your right wing back there'd be huge open spaces which would be uh, very vulnerable for you for the counter attacks now when it comes to depth i try to keep it at 63 the reason being if you keep this low you'd be playing basically pack the bus uh, like a rat all the time and you wouldn't be really enjoying in the attack you'd only be paying you know playing um counter attacking football only through balls but the aim for this formation is that we have players all around and we have um attacking through the central and giving a width option on one flank and due to that position works really well and you want to do a lot of passes uh for the players in box i just have one corners free kicks one i didn't want to get a counter attack so that's the reason for that that being said let's move on to the instructions now two of your strikers both are on false nine in their attacking runs do not use them to get in behind otherwise again you'd fall short of passing options and this is the formation where they'll anyway take good runs so don't worry about it but they'll also be very close to you for good passing options and i'll show you basically when these people are short of passing options when they do not have someone to pass your left wing back this guy here will be providing you the option i'll, I'll show you the instructions for that in a moment but these two would be balanced with and false nine and one of them would be come back on defense for me son would be coming back on defense and shakiri will also be come back be coming back on defense now you'd be saying that what the hell dude everyone's is coming back on attack but that's not the reason for it the reason for them to come back on defense is to give you passing options as soon as you get the ball if you keep them forward what would happen is that you have five to six to seven players at the back and your passing options will be only around that position so you want that you have all your 
players at kind of very close range to each other from the midfield to the defense and then one player forward who could you know you can use in counter attacking football so for shakiri or your cam he'd be coming back on defense and make sure that this guy is on aggressive interceptions um for the strikers it's just normal interceptions uh this guy would be aggressive interception uh this is again like aggressive interception is just something you could you know uh experiment with but i want them to intercept in you know aggressively just because their position while defending is not as important as the other defenders whom i want to you know just have on uh normal interceptions now my two cdms um they both would be cover center and stay back while attacking um nothing else for them i've just kept them on aggressive interceptions you can keep them on uh, aggressive or normal interceptions now one thing you'd note here is since these two players one of our strikers and our camp are coming back and defense this guy here might slightly be moving towards the wing which is in a way beneficial for us because a lot of attacks happen on the wing so this you might expect this guy to not come deep into the defense but the other cdm would definitely be coming deeper into the defense you'll you'll observe this in the game too uh, but i i'm giving you a heads up because that is something uh, which sometimes uh, you know make makes you feel that oh why is this defend this cdm not coming on the back maybe the player is the problem but no this is the formation it's it's set to be like that where these two would be coming up coming in in, in kind of the midfield to help you out this might be slightly moving towards the wing then these four are your all time defenders okay so so this in my usual gameplay kunde is my left back klosterman is my uh, sorry kunde is my right back klosterman is my left back and these two are my central defensive uh, central i'm sorry center backs so the way this works is these four will always be stay back while attacking i've kept kunde on aggressive inception you can try it on normal too doesn't matter i just found aggressive to be slightly better for me these three again stay back while attacking and finally your left wing back will be joined attack this won't be balanced attack this won't be you know stay back he'll be joining the attack so that's why i was saying so this guy will be moving up and down and when your midfield is crowded enough so that you know you don't have a lot of pass passing options you'll see this guy standing there on the wing on the flank and this is an extremely important thing now what you want to do or you what you might want to do is also try this guy to do the same but then you'd be vulnerable on the defense that's for sure because a lot of times when when you're uh, get attacked by counter attacks this guy as well as this guy both your full backs will be kind of up ahead and they'll try to move back as quickly as possible but you will only have three at the back in this formation however you love four at the back uh, if you are pretty good at defense you do not really care and you really want to enjoy attacking more you can definitely put this guy to join the attack as well or you can put him on mixed attack um i mean uh, join the attack or balanced attack so for me this works pretty well because i feel confident that they are pretty good in terms of defense as well as a lot of passing options in the attack and i have some you know unexpected width options too because all my opponents uh, defenders are gathered towards the towards the center of the pitch right because a lot of lot of attack that you do in this formation is through the center but that unexpected width is is very important in this game so that being said um i hope you've captured all the instructions for the players um and you've got the tactics well Let's see how this plays in game. So here you just saw how Ferran Torres was giving you that support in the attack, right? And this is what it looks like when you're defending. So you saw how I have four people at the back, and if you saw on the other wing, Ferran Torres just joined the defense for me, right? And now look what happens. Right now, Ferran Torres is here, right? And I'm kind of passing in the midfield. Now look where Ferran Torres is in the game. So unexpectedly, my opponent doesn't really take care about this position. 
So again, if you see how my defense is right now, easily taken by the midfielders there, right? So because of that five at the back, you can easily take the ball. Look how easily we are taking the ball back when it's with the opponent. And the attacking options are really nice because of that one there coming in to help us. Right, and this time we do get the goal. Last two times we were very close. But again, same thing, your player on the wing won't be covered as much as your other players and that gives you very good option for attack. And now because Farin is up ahead, I still have four at the back, so nothing to worry about. And this is an instance of just passing it around in the midfield. Just to show that we have a lot of passing options. It's so very compact and strong in the defense too. And we score again. And this time our attack was through the center of the pitch, right? Nothing on the wing but then of course you have that surprise element always there hanging around so if you see it's not like my players are not taking those attacking runs look at that right so even though they're false nine they'll still take good runs that's that's the kind of formation this is Look at that from Parantaras, right? That's what I'm talking about. And we do get the goal. Again from that position. Again the attack coming up from the flank. Which is very unexpected for the opponent. Trust me guys. He, Even though he would know that your, your left wing back would always be taking those runs. He wouldn't be able to control it. Because all his defense, all his midfield would be moved towards your midfield. Because most of your attacking options are there. So that might have been a counter-attack situation if it was three at the back, right? Now see, look at his defender. He's trying to cover Ferran Torres, right? If you saw, his cursor was on the player who was covering Ferran Torres. That is his right back. And I passed to, you know, um, uh, Werner and I scored. <sighs> okay. Okay. Yet again, the attack is through the center this time, and we get the goal. And we get another goal from uh, the center itself. Let's show the greedy to him. That is the best pass. You still have four at the defense. And we get another goal, this time from the center of the pitch again. Easy passing between the three strikers. Okay, so this in other situations would be a counter-attacking situation, right? But look at my defense. Although it was a counter, I had four at the back, like proper 4-4-2 defense. I had my players. Look at that attack. What the hell are you doing, man? Anyway, we get the old, we'll do the gritty again. <clears throat> that's it. And that's about it, guys. So hopefully this helps you out. And this is a formation which is 
I mean, this tactic so, and this formation is very generic, so it doesn't matter if you are an old gen or if you are a new gen. Even in EFC 24, hopefully these tactics should work because you're not doing anything crazy. We're just playing tactically, right? So we, we're doing stuff in the game. We're making some players move ahead, come back a very systematic way. So that that always is going to work. Um, one other thing is that instead of that attacker, left wing back, who is always going to join the attack, if you have someone like Bachunan, you know, or other players who have very good attacking as well as defensive stats, it's going to be a plus. So if you can accommodate that, make sure you do that. And hopefully you like this formation. Hopefully it helps you out. Um, if it does, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, thank you for your previous likes and love for my previous videos. Please continue to share that. Uh, we'll see you next time with another video. Until then, goodbye. Cheers.